Okay, I want to talk about management as a practice. I don't think management is a science. Uh, I don't think management is a profession. Not, uh, you can't manage everything. You have to understand the context. I think management is a practice that's learned in context. <clears throat> and I think management is, is largely about art. I always like to point here and realize that nobody's looking there. Management is largely about art and, and, and somewhat about art, the, which means the, uh, based on imagination and creative insights, <clears throat> largely, mostly about craft, which is built on experience and practical learning, and the whole idea of what we're going to talk about in the, uh, in the program in a few minutes is about that. Um, and management isn't a science, but it uses science in the form usually of analysis or systematic evidence. So management is a practice that moves between those three parts of that triangle. And let me give you an example. I'll take something that's close to uh, your hearts, literally. Um, decision making. Uh, I'll tell you why it's close to your hearts in a minute. There are kind of three broad ways to view decision making. Uh, one is thinking first, which is the very systematic, first you diagnose, then you design, then you decide, and then you act. Very systematic way. And that's the way we think of making decisions in most big organizations, big companies, and so on today. A second way is seeing first, which is you've seen it, and once you've seen it, you make the decision. You, you're looking for a piece of land to build a factory. Entrepreneurs often like this. They drive by, they see the land, and they say, that's it. No analysis, no study. I've seen it, and I decide. The doing first is, is you act in order to think as much as you think in order to act. In other words, if you're faced with a decision and you don't quite know what to do, you try something. And either it works or it doesn't work. If it works, you do more of it. If it doesn't work, you try something else. And you learn your way or you act your way into thinking rather than just thinking your way into acting. Now, if I asked you what you do most of the time in your companies, you'll probably, if you're in a big company or big organization, you'll probably say you think first. Um, so let's take something very personal. How did you find your mate? So would all those people in the classroom who did it through thinking first, namely they diagnosed the situation, what kind of mate would I like, how tall, how, how, uh, you know, how pleasant, uh, how sexy, whatever it is. Um, then you design, you sort of design your perfect mate. Um, then you go out and find all the various alternatives. Uh, you pick one and then you get married. Uh, so how many of you, you, you care to raise your hand? I, I imagine pretty well everybody raising their hand right now, right? Um, unless, of course, if you come from India and you're in a, uh, an arranged marriage, it might have been that way, but not by you, so much as by your family. But people don't typically uh, find their mates that way. Seeing first, you all know what that is. You turn the corner, there she is, that's it. My father uh, was living in New York, he met my mother, called his mother that day and said, I met the woman I'm going to marry. Uh, there wasn't a lot of analysis uh, behind that decision. Although it was a good decision, it worked out very well for them. But um, so seeing first is often how we make decisions, even in big companies. And doing first, well, a lot of you probably ended up in your relationships by doing first, kind of let's try it. Uh, and see what happens. So, um, so uh, I won't get into the consequences of that. I, you're all pretty creative. Uh, but um, it's another way of making decisions. So, so the art of decision making, the craft of decision making, the science of decision making.